Hello, my beautiful reader friends. It's Tiffany with an IE. As you can see, welcome back to my channel. And today I will be doing my wrap up for August. So, um, I read quite a bit of books this month, but most of them are picture books. <laughs> so for this month, I've read 17 books and I've given out some four stars, but yeah, let me just go through um, the picture books really quick. Um, I haven't decided if I'll put up all the images for them, but I will link all these books in the description. So um, feel free to check those out as well. So um, I've read 10 Little Monkeys, which is a picture book. And yeah, it was cute. It um, doesn't have anything to do with the 10 Little Monkeys jumping on the bed song. That is a different picture book. This one was just like counting monkeys. So yeah, um, I gave that four stars because it was fine. Um, I read the board book called First 100 Words. Um, yeah, it's another picture book. I gave it four stars. It's just a hundred different words and pictures to go with them. Um, I read this nonfiction, I guess, picture book called Incredible Dinosaurs. Um, also four stars. It's also fine. Pretty informative and stuff. Um, definitely not for um, toddlers or young infants. Um, definitely for kids a little bit older. Um, and then I read Goodnight Thumper, which is another picture book, and I gave this one five stars because it's Disney, <laughs> and yes, it is Thumper, the rabbit from Bambi. Um, yeah, it was cute, but, um, I do wish there was a little bit more story, but that's just me. Um, I also read Maisie Goes to School, another picture book, five stars. Um, this is Maisie the rat or mouse um but yeah i'm sure you've probably seen these picture books all over the place um the next four they're all um clifford picture books so we have count on clifford clifford's pals clifford at the at the i was about to say museum clifford at the circus and Clifford and the Grouchy Neighbors. Um, I gave all of these five stars because I love Clifford the Big Red Dog. Um, yeah, definitely. I like the show better, but um, yeah, it was still pretty awesome. Um, and then some other uh, small-ish picture books and stuff. I read First Day Critter Jitters, and this was really cute because um, it's by Jory John and Liz Climo, and I love both of them. So it was super cute. Gave it five stars. Um, I read I Am Pushing the Cat. This is kind of like a picture book, comics. It's just really cute, and it's just like Pusheen and her sister Stormy, and just all the cute like cat shenanigans and stuff. Absolutely loved it. Five stars. Um, I also read Miss LaGrange is Strange, which is the eighth book in the Weird School series. And I had started this back in like February or something with the student that I used to teach. But then um, since I'm no longer, um, I mean, t that I used to tutor. Since I'm no longer tutoring them, I never got back to like finishing this. So I just, I was just like, okay, well, I'm just going to finish it on Scribd. So I just finished reading it. It was good. So five stars. Um, all these books are pretty good actually. Um, yeah, but I still need to finish, um, the other Dork Diary books that I started with, um, her sister. So yeah. Um, anyways, uh, besides that, I read The Mark of Zorro, which was for my TBR game. Um, this one I gave four stars, um, because man, there's a lot in here. So I really did enjoy the adventure aspect and the fact that um, Zoro is kind of like a Robin Hood. He like steals from the rich and gives to the poor and only punishes like um, those who are being um, unjust or prejudiced or like whatever, like doing bad things to the oppressed and stuff. Um, so that part was really cool. 
However, um, all the servants in here were all native, like Native American, indigenous and stuff. And there were even depictions where like it said like, oh, the natives would be like jeering and stuff as like so and so got punished or whatever, uh, wrongfully punished. And I was just like, mm, I don't really like this sort of language and it just, yeah. And just the whole thing of like, even though it's like not um, American slavery with like African Americans being enslaved, it's still bad because it's still like a minority, even though the Native Americans were here first, but then why are they servants, even though they're not technically slaves, they're servants, but like some of them still get treated badly and yeah, it's just... It's just weird. So that's why I gave it um, one star off. But besides that, like the story was really enjoyable and it was fun. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> but definitely, oh my gosh, that whole, like all the stuff about like the natives, like I was not down for. Okay, moving on. Um, I read um, Ember of Night, which was Mysterious Galaxy's Young Adult Book Club pick, and it was absolutely amazing, and I get five stars. So, yeah, it was so good. Um, it was just like, just, I was so absorbed into the book, and I did not want to stop, even though I had to like run errands and stuff that day. And then for book club, the author joined us on Zoom, so that was a lot of fun. We got to ask her questions and stuff, but yeah, I really love that book, and it's going to be a trilogy, so I'm super excited to see where the story and the characters and everything go, um, since there is a bit of a cliffhanger at the end of the book. Um, yeah, so absolutely amazing. Um, oh, I forgot to hold it up. Here, this is Ember of Night. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so next I read Lamb, which is this book. I have this special edition. Um, it's by Christopher Moore. And, um, yeah, <laughs> this is a really cool edition that looks like a Bible because this is told from the point of view of Biff, who is, ch who is, um, Christ's childhood friend and it's pretty hilarious like I really enjoyed it I laughed a lot so I gave this five stars then I read Aurora Burning by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff this is the sequel to Aurora to Aurora Rising and I'm so excited because the third book is coming out in November and this one also had a bit of a cliffhanger at the end but yeah, this was like so good, just as good as the first book. So another five stars. And then the last book I read um, was Idle Dreams Volume 2 by Arina Tanemura. And I just butchered her name, Arina Tanemura. Um, <laughs> she is one of my favorite manga artists and she has a lot of series, but um, yeah, here's what volume one looks like, but um, this was really cute. I enjoyed it, and I did reread a bit of the first one, so I gave this five stars. And yeah, so that is it. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's it for this month. Um, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!